Hey, greetings everyone. How y'all doing? Uh yeah, I'm here I'm here with uh the lovely Millie. And we're gonna be um uh I'm gonna be teaching Millie how to set up uh tabletop simulator. Uh or specifically set up Warhammer 40k on tabletop simulator. This I've will... been brain rotted beyond belief. I listen, I Millie, I just wanna point out I'm not apologizing. But uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you you're you're drinking that you're drinking that word bearer's Kool-Aid right now, like Unfortunately, uh, yeah. Yeah. But um right, so uh so Millie and I are gonna be playing a 40k game tomorrow. So the purpose of the stream is I wanted to well, I wanted to, you know, go through all the steps to set up playing tabletop simulator 40k for Millie. And then I was like, hey, why not just make a guide out of this? Yeah, I remember we were talking about, like, when, when's a good time. I was like, what, are you live Thursday? Because I was wondering if you weren't live, so we can just do it on that day. And yeah. then this just sort of happened. Yeah, this is sort of like, hey, th hey, that's an, that's an idea. Um, But, uh, yeah, so basically the point of the, the point of the stream is that I'm going to be, set, you know, going through all the steps to set up Tabletop Simulator to play Warhammer 40,000. So you don't have to sacrifice a kidney in order to experience the Tabletop game. Because... It's, it is like the entire, the, the entirety of a uh, 40k tabletop is supported on TTS. It's just, uh, it's just a matter of knowing how to set it up. It's not hard to set up. You just have to know what to look for effectively. So, right. Uh, the first major point is uh, going to be like what you need to, what you need for this guide. Like just a quick go over of things you, uh, of what you're going to need in order to play. You're going to need uh, the ability to read. I, I would, I, I would hope. <laughs> hey, look, I'm a Black Templar. I can't read anyway. Uh, but no, nah, it's like uh, the ability to read. Uh, PC that can run. Uh, number two is a PC that can run Tabletop Simulator. I don't know how much of a steep one that one is. That one, it's 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 not as steep as you might. That's think. like a. I, I, honestly, I was gonna say that, that might just be a kiddie pool. Yeah, like real talk. I feel like I feel like internet bandwidth is more of a hurdle for people trying to play tabletop simulator than uh, than PC than PC uh, capability. You know, uh, you're gonna need twenty dollars. That's how much it costs on Steam. Uh, or, or 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 sugar daddy, <laughs> or, or that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's like tw it's it, it'll cost you at most twenty dollars American. Uh, it, if there's a Steam sale up, it will be on sale. It always goes on sale with every. Steam it's sale. on sale like every other week, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. So it's, it's not like Witcher Three. Yeah, it's not expensive at all to get into. Uh, you'll need an internet connection because you know this is played online. You will need a website to put your army together, that uh, which I've uh, put on the guide here. That is www.newrecruit.eu. You will need. Uh, you will need. Uh, the, you'll need the, the rules for playing. These are available, you know, either you know, if you have if you have the official rule book, or alternative sources. I will not, I, I cannot mention here, but they are out there. Uh, and you'll need people to play with. I have linked the. I've uh, posted the link for the Tabletop Simulator 40K Discord server uh, as part as part of the um, uh, what you'll need uh, section there. So yeah, just copy that, you know, copy that address and go and join their Discord server. They... And don't forget to buy five copies of the Chaos Space Marines Codex 10th Edition. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you need the. Okay, okay, Millie, I think the, I think the Chaos Brain Rod is getting to you a little. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, like she's already looking up. Fuck it, she's already looking up like all the Lorgar quotes, like just writing them down. Like I, I, I introduced Millie to 40k. It's like five minutes later. All I wanted was the truth. <laughs> oh, oh no! It was a, it was a gradual decline. It was uh, Blood Angels, then the Blood Ravens, and then it was the what was next? Uh, the the, hos the Hospitallers, and then the Exorcist, and now I'm just a Chaos Scrub. You no, you jumped off. You jumped off that Chaos. You jumped into that Chaos Kool Aid. Like they offered you the Kool Aid. You jumped. You tried to jump in the pitcher. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I thought the World Eaters are cool. I was like, man, I, like I just want to. Like, Something that really speaks to me, and then I saw religious psychos on the on the chaos. I was like, "Yeah, that's for me." But yeah, the uh, these are these are the seven things you'll need to play, uh, you know, tabletop uh, simulator on 40k. Uh, 
or play 40k on tabletop simulator it like uh it, it it's it's less complex than it sounds um i will probably aggressively screw up te uh teaching people through this event through this uh through the vod for this and you millie i do apologize um that said i uh i will say there are people on the uh tts 40k discord that are better at this than i am i'm just you know i'm just trying to help a friend and figure maybe i'll help some other people in the process so with that in mind uh you know the first when it comes to like you know building an army for this the first thing you're gonna need is to go to new recruit so you've got that open right millie yeah yeah so this is a this is new recruit uh it's new, new recruit all one word dot eu and this is your army builder this is a it is an infinitely better army builder than the games workshop one uh and basically what you do is um you'll need to when you go to the site you will need to click here to try it now with this button here and then you'll be presented with if you haven't used it before you will be asked to where is it? Uh, here it is. Because I've used this already, so I'm a little bit ahead of everyone. But yeah, you'll be asked to add, like, you know, a game system. So you'll click on the green arrow up here. And this is the big list of supported game systems. Uh, the one you'll want is Warhammer 40,000 10th Edition. They do have editions going back to 7th, it looks like. But, you know, for the sake of what we're doing here, we're doing Warhammer 40,000 10th Edition. You'll click on that, and then you'll um. Uh, you'll just click on that, and it will be added. Also, I'm just gonna post a Discord, uh, in the chat there, so just in case people missed the earlier part. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I think that's the one anyway. Yeah, that yeah, that's the uh, that's the um uh, the TTS 40k Discord. Yeah, once you have your uh, your game system loaded up, you'll click on that. And you'll be given this uh, set of options. This is where you actually make your list. So, let's see. For the sake of this, uh, Millie, could you stream your end onto Discord so I can see what you're doing? Yeah, one second. Yeah. Because uh, I'm also joining the Discord. <laughs> there we go. Okay. For that over here, we're going to share... I wonder if I can just do it like this. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yellow. Ooh. Oh, nice background. Uh. All right. So. All right. Let let me actually don't you know, let me move Discord on. If I move Discord onto my main screen, is that gonna? Okay, no, that doesn't cover up the uh, that doesn't cover up the game capture. All right, so from here on out, what you're going to do, Millie, is the following: you're going to hit you're going to hit uh, new. Yeah, up there. You're going yeah you're going to go to faction. Let me uh, actually don't you know, let me bring this up on my uh, thing here. All right, you go to new. You go to faction. And from there, you select the faction you want to play. For you, you would select regular... Uh, regular Space, the Chaos Marines. Yeah, yeah, Chaos Chaos Space Marines. That what you would, that's what you would select. Then you name your list. You know, whatever you want to call it. And once your list is named, you set it to... It, well, in, in the case of the game we're going to play, a cost limit of 1,000. Games are generally played at, uh, like, I want to say it's like 1,000, 1,500, or 2,000 points. 1,000 is, that is my phone being stupid. I did not ask the abominable, I did not tell the abominable intelligence it has a right to speak. One moment. There we go. All right. So, right, set your cost limit to 1,000, and for forces you want to set this to army roster. Yeah, army roster, boarding action, and crusade forces. And crusade force are three different, like, game modes in Warhammer 40k. 
for the sake of this, we'll uh, we'll be doing an army roster. And let's take a look at your progress on the stream. All right, once you're done with all that, hit add force. That locks in your that locks in your everything you set up here. And from there, you click create list. Oh hell yeah. All right, you have officially got your list ready to go. All right, I'm going to be I'm going to be switching uh, dis uh, the Discord screen over here. I won't be able to see chat for a bit, so I will be focusing on uh, I'll be focusing on helping Millie with this. I'll be I'll, I have the chat open, so don't worry. Yeah. All right. So, right now from here on, you do you do first of all, you got to configure the army. So go up to configuration. Oh, there. Yeah, click that. Right. Uh, the battle the battle size, uh, click on that. You'll see an option on the right. You have Incursion, Strike Force, or Onslaught. Those are basically the three official game sizes. Uh, you know, 1,000, uh, 2,000, or 3,000 points. Like, 1,000 is like, like I said, that, that's like the small game. 2,000 is, you know, standard. 3,000 is, I've got all my model. I want to throw as many of my models on tabletop as possible. I hope you have. I hope you have eight hours of your life to play, basically. But, Jesus Christ! But yeah, we'll we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing a th you know thousand point game. Now, uh, you're going to want to go to the next option, which is your detachment options. Yeah, it's the second one. This is where you determine like the sub rules for your army that will determine your like your play style. In the case of you said you want to play word bears absolutely then you're going to want to go with packed bound zealots Hold on. i actually want to find this in my um in your in your in your rule book yeah because i because again i do have the chaos marines uh a uh, little book here yep so yeah take your time take your time uh yeah for the sake of keeping up with you i will select that now All right, one moment. Black sword. Good sword. Black found zealot. Yep, there they are. Yep. All right, so you will select pack bound zealots on the right. All right, next go to show slash hide options. Now, you see, you'll see a bunch of stuff on the right is is uh, clicked, right? Yeah. So these are a bunch of options for things you can add to your army. Uh, as you can tell, there chaos knights are visible, corn demons, legends, Nurgle demons, Slanesh demons, titans, siege demons, unaligned and unaligned fortifications. Um, I would say. I would say for the sake of building this list, uh, you're, you're going to want to turn off the following things and I'll describe what all of them are. Uh, the four, the options for the chaos God demons is a thing you can do with chaos space Marines, where you can take a contingent of chaos demons as allies with your army. So if that's something, if you want to have demons on the tabletop, that's something you can do with this list. Um, unaligned forces. These are just like miscellaneous models with no real alignment. You can throw into any army, for the sake of uh, for the sake of uh, la uh, lowering confusion, we will turn those off. So uh, which ones? The bottom two: unaligned forces and unaligned fortifications. We will also turn off titans because you won't even be able to afford a titan at a thousand points. <laughs> and legends units. Legends units are ones that are they're not officially supported going forward by Games Workshop, but they still maintain a, a list of like rules for them most uh if you're playing what is considered a you know match played game you will probably not be facing those it's it's generally like a friendly agreement if you use legends units or not and not all of them are available on uh t on tabletop sim most are so, but a lot aren't so that's something to keep in mind <laughs> and that's that's basically it for the initial setup so let's see, you got a thousand points, you got pack bound zealots selected, you've got you've got all you know the show and hide options. 
you're now ready to start building your army. So, uh, here's what you want to do first. Um, one th the, the one thing you absolutely need for your army is a is like a uh, is like your uh, like a, a character at least one character. Uh, character models are basically like your your leader units or your epic heroes, like you know, official lore characters. Like uh, your epic heroes that you can select are Abaddon the Despoiler, Cipher, Fabius Bile, Harkon World Claimer, Huron Blackheart, and Vashtor the Archiphane. But your characters are more like your regular characters are more like generic, uh, generic leader characters, like a Chaos Lord, Chaos Lord and Terminator armor, Demon Prince, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to select a character to act as your like act as your leader. Well, clearly then, for a word bearer, I'm going to need the Dark Apostle. <laughs> that's a, that is a that is a uh, that's a very good choice. So yeah, well, I'll build this army along alongside you, so I can like see all the same options. So yeah, click him, and he will be added to your army. You just uh, click character to open it up. And there he is. But yeah, he is a um. Uh, on tabletop, he's a, he's got two buddies that like follow him around. Two little two little heretic buddies. Two little dudes. Two little yeah, two little heretic dudes that like offer him you know offer moral support. It's like you're the best boss, you know, like that. <laughs> goons hired goons. Yeah, right, right, right now, right right now, there's some uh, there, there's a uh, dark apostle who's like I hired. What is like what the hell? I hired goons, and then they're I'm all like start coming, boss. Oh no no! It's like uh, it's like we we got this, boss. We'll help you out, boss. And meanwhile, there's a uh, meanwhile Slanesh is somewhere in the warp with a bunch of you know like uh, thirty year old coomers being uh, being like we're gonna start jerking off now. And Slanesh is like, this'll do. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Hey, end of days. Hey, end of days. How you doing? Uh, but okay. Uh, so you've got your dark apostle. Um, now. Now you have now you uh, manage his uh, now you manage his options and those are on the right. Uh, you can lower the profile option at the bottom there so you can see all of his stats and and rules associated with him if you want. Oh. Yeah, like he's got abilities like dark zealotry. If he's leading a unit, uh, then each time a unit that model makes an attack, you add one to the to the wound roll. Or a demagogue. Whenever he's leading a heretic Astartes unit, that is battle shocked. Uh, hold it. Once per battle, at the start of any phase, you can select one friendly heretic Astartes unit that is battle shocked within nine inches, and uh, they're no longer battle shocked. Basically, he basically screams at a unit, "Hey, stop crying!" You know, and then they have to listen to him. You can also sacrifice your disciples, and uh, let's see. Yeah, you basically you sacrifice a dark disciple to throw a mortal wound attack at your enemy. So that's another ability he's got. You can also put him in a unit of accursed cultists, chosen cultist mob, or legionaries. So he is a character, but you know you can uh, you can make him a leader of one of those units, and and they they become as like you know his teen girl squad, you know following him around for the uh, rest of the match. Like being his being his self esteem team basically. Need some of that, honestly. So right, they've got one character. Uh, I'd say probably now you'd want to add a. Actually, well, oh, I almost forgot. Um, you'd want to choose his mark of chaos. Yes, and I'm gonna go to my little book here. To see mark. Right, because remember, the mark you choose uh, conveys benefits to him, as part of the pack bound zealots detachment. Huh. Yeah, for uh, for review though, uh, the pack bound pack bound zealots gives corn models uh, lethal hits in uh, lethal hits in melee uh, on a five up. Zeech hits get lethal hits at, with ranged on a five up. Nurgle gets sustained hits one uh, for uh, ranged. Slanesh gets sustained hits one for melee. 
and Chaos Undivided get some, uh, let's see, lethal hits. Each time a model in this unit makes an attack, reroll a hit roller one. Sustained hits one. Each time a model in this unit makes an attack, reroll a hit roll of one, basically. So yeah, depending on your mark, you get different bonuses. Yeah. So, so it's gonna it's gonna be a matter of what kind of bonus you want them to have. It's a uh, corn and slanesh are melee, Nurgle and Zeech are ranged. I want to say if you're gonna, uh, oh yeah, if you're gonna, if you want to attach them to a unit, uh, like it described, you're going to have to make that unit the same mark. Just so you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Then uh, I'm gonna give this boyo a mark of the funny Zinch. Okay. So. You, you, okay. So. Oh, you also. Oh, um, another thing I forgot. Um. One of your leaders has to be a warlord. That's like your 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 boss unit. Your like your main character, your main dude on the tabletop. The warlord yeah. option is above you. Is like just above your marks of chaos on the right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that yeah, and that's basically like he he's my main, he's your main dude on the tabletop. He's leading your army. You don't have to make him the warlord as if, if you have other character options in the army, but you have to have one warlord. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. Clicking mark of Zeech also. Uh, uh, let's see. Just Each check. time the bear's unit makes a dark pack and does not fill the resulting leadership test, if the result of that test was eight or more, you gain one uh, CP. Yep. Yeah, that is the that's an enhancement. You can give those to your characters, and it's it's based uh, for your for your uh, the way you're building your army. Uh, which ones you can take will ba be based on which uh, marks you give the character. So if you select like say mark of Slanesh. You'd get intoxicating elixirs. Nurgle is orbs of unlife. Corn is talisman of burning blood. And Chaos Undivided doesn't get one. So yeah. We'll, we'll give we'll give him an eyes inch. Yeah. Uh command uh CP or command points are useful because they let you do special abilities. Like for your army. And you only start with one and you get one every round. So being able to stack those a lot of those up is actually really useful. Alright. So the next thing we'd want to do is add uh add some infantry to your army. So those are so over on the left, uh there's basically two kinds of infantry. There's Regular inf there's battle line and regular infantry. Uh, battle line you can select up to six of regular other infantry up to three. And the, the the main difference other than that is that battle line have a higher objective control score. I want to say it's two per model in the unit, and you need that for holding basically holding objectives. Like they're like they're your like they they take the like they'll be taking points mainly, you know if you're uh, unless you have other plans for them, and you can take more of them than regular, uh, <clears> that you can take more of them than the infantry options. Mm -hmm. If you want to combine your dark apostle with one of them, you you would you would take either a cursed cultist, chosen cultist mob, or legionaries. I would actually recommend. To take a chosen squad first in regular infantry, and then grab some uh, battle line. So our boy here, the Dark Apostle with Zinch. Probably not the best to put some corn berserkers there. You can take multiple. Uh, you 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 can take you can take them if you want. You can take multiple uh, marks in the army. You just can't combine him. Can't, you can't combine him with a different uh, mark as leading a squad. Squad deploying. Oh. Solzamad Blocker has joined the crusade. Learn, uh, I'm right here to learn how to play with my unpainted minis. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Also, Sol Solzamad Blocker. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crusade. All right. So let's go back. Um, 
Right. Oh, okay. I can see what they do. All right. Yeah. Legionaries are your basic uh, are your basic uh, chaos marines. Like like your unspecialized ones when it comes to a chaos god. Hmm. Yeah, if you take one of the uh, ones like corn berserkers, I want you have to give them the uh, the chaos mark associated with their god. Like, so if you took corn berserkers, you would have to give them a uh, mark of uh, a mark of corn. Like oh, that, okay. Yeah. Well, would my Zinchi boy over here override their corn mark? Thing. Yeah, you can you can't combine them. Yeah, so there's no point to them really. Yeah, like you can take things. Yeah, you can take them. Your dark apostle just can't lead them specifically. Like he can't attach to the squad. I am going to, as a funny, bring some stinky boys. Ah, uh, plague marines. Yeah. Ah, neat. Yeah, they are they are tough to kill. Uh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're legendary resilience as the Death Guard. Yep. All right, so let's see. Plop a Plague Marine down on there. Right, so first of all, you'll probably want to outfit your Chosen. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so, yeah, so you have to pick your options for them. Uh, you can give them a... You can give them a uh, kit. Well, first of all, if you want your Dark Apostle to join that squad, you'll have to give them the Mark of Zeech. quickly also apply them here unless oh wait these are nurgle boys aren't they yeah yeah that's yeah that's the nurgle guys yeah yeah we're, we're doing the chosen yeah no i just remember like they're nurgly yeah the um uh let's see for the chosen then you can basically uh you can you know add the add the various options for them that you want to have you know, give them bolt guns and plasma plasma pistols, uh, combi combi weapons and bolt pistols, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Combi weapon. Uh, it's basic. Basically, what that does is, it is a uh, infantry rifle that gives you anti infantry four up. Uh, gives you devastating wounds and rapid fire one. So, it's got so for rapid fire means at half range you get you get two shots rather than one. Anti-infantry means that each time an attack is made with such a weapon against a target with the keyword after anti, so in this case, infantry, unmodified wound rolls of uh, four, in this case, would be a critical wound, meaning the wound goes through on a, all, like, guaranteed on a four, if you're shooting at infantry. And devastating wounds uh, means that, uh, let's see... Each time an attack is made with the weapon, if that attack scores a critical wound, no saving throw of any kind can be made uh, against that attack, including invulnerable saving throws. So basically, you bypass all protection. That's what that means. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get a combi weapon and bolt pistol, I suppose. Okay, so, all right, so if you want to outfit the whole squad with that, which you can do, uh, you go up to the 5 to 10 Chosen up there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And you reduce, let's see, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. All right, you reduce that to three, and then you go to the you go to the um, uh, chosen with combi weapon and plasma pistol, and you increase that by two. Uh, I was saying bolt pistol. A oh, bolt yeah. pistol. My bad. You increase that by two. Now your five guy, your five guys, burger and fries are all set up with their uh, available options. You can also, basically for nothing, give them a, a chaos icon as well, which is at the top. Uh, each time this bear's unit takes a leadership test for the Dark Pact ability, you can re-roll that test. So if you, like, fail your Dark Pact ability, you get a, you get a freebie re-roll to try to see if it goes off. 
there's basically no reason not to take it because it, it doesn't cost that. Well. Yeah, because it doesn't cost extra. All right. So that's them. Now your pla your plague boys. Now your plague champion has has options he can take, uh, like a bolt pistol, a bolt gun, a plasma gun, or a plasma pistol, along with either a bubonic weapon, a heavy plague weapon, or plague knives. I might stick with the plague bolt gun. Okay. And then for the plague knife. Uh, I'll do the boob. Weapons. Okay. Why not? All right, and then uh, you've got your regular plague marines in the squad. You've got four of them. Uh, you can, as as with the others, you can outfit them with different stuff, like a blight launcher, uh, bubonic weapons, heavy plague weapons, or a plague spewer. It's like a a plague spear is ba it's basically a flamethrower except it's it spits uh it spits uh you know diseased snot at people. <laughs> What's the blight launcher? Why not? Let's get a blight launcher. All right. So add uh so basically add one blight launcher and then remove one of your regular pla uh, plague marines to keep the you know keep the uh the the the, the squad the basic squad cap of five you can double the number of dudes you can put it up to 10 but you know like it's like unless you want to do that you know we'll just keep the squad at five you know yeah yeah all right uh okay unless you want to add a guy with a special weapon that's basically it for that squad. We can leave them as is. Okay. So from here on out, what you'll want to do is you will want to continue adding units. You will you'll want to you'll want to continue adding units until you reach your one thousand point limit. Mm -hmm. You can add other. Uh, you, you basically you can add other. Um, uh, more characters, more battle line or infantry, or, you know, basically any of these other units. Let me see. I might swap out these Plague Marines. Or, what are you? Those are, those are the Legionaries. They're the regular, the Legionaries are the regular, uh, just Joe Schmo Chaos Marines. Ooh, work, boys. I think for this one, I might change out the plagues for the Rubric Marines. Okay. So we can get rid of y'all. Rubric Marines go in. Try to say a little on brand with Zeech, basically? Yeah, basically. All right, let's, uh, on my own screen, I'll swap that around. Where are R Rubrics? There I'll take go. off one Rubric Marine from there and put in a Warp Flamer Marine. And then for the Pistol... Hmm. 
Why not? We'll try a warp flame pistol. Okay. Uh, one sec while I'm checking chat while you're setting that up. Um, well, let me just set the warp flame pistol. You find? Oh, hey. Uh, Oh, hey, uh, Solzum. Uh, glad you can finally catch stream. Gonna watch, listen as a refresher for my Votan army. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, let's see, uh, hey, uh, what was that box called I saw from which was a mix of Combat Patrol, even more for Dark Angels, even with the line in it? That's the, one of the new Christmas box sets. Uh, they're like limit, they're like a limited edition box. It won't be out, it won't be out just yet. But yeah, the, the, those will be out closer to Christmas. I forget the name of the box off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. But, um, Right. Okay, so... Yeah, let's see. Right. <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh, one moment. You've got a warning about your list up there. Oh. oh. Toward the top. What is it? We'll just click on that. See what it is. Roster cards. One selection is more of a warlord. Oh, I, uh, did you set your... um? Uh... Huh. Did you set your Dark Apostle as the warlord? I click on him real quick. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now you've got a warlord. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. From here on out, just add, uh, basically you just add, uh, <laughs> go fucking hog wild. Yeah. Add, add whatever infantry, whatever options you want and, uh, add more characters if you want. Yeah. Right. Check <laughs> this right here. What's this? Uh, oh, uh, hold on. Um, the rubric Marine with a soul reaper cannon. Where is that? For uh, in the icon of flame. Initiating attack protocol twenty-three. Oh, Paladin Ashe has provided one reinforcements. Oh, hey, honey, how you doing? Thank you for the raid. Uh, did, wow. you, did your stream go good? That's good. Yeah, that's good to hear. Uh. Happy to have you here. Thank, again, thank you for the raid. But, um, all right. Where is the... Man, where is that, uh... Why is that option not showing up on my screen? I have taken off one... Okay, I... I I've... All right, there we go. <laughs> I took off one of my rubrics with the Infernal Bulk Gun, then I added the Soul Reaper Cannon. Uh, let me see. Uh, he's right there, actually, right above Rupert Marine with Warp Flamer to the side there. Oh, kind of blends uh, in with the. the like, he's like, oh, I right, see. Right I between, see yeah. him. I see him. He's trying to hide from me. All right. So, right. So, I guess from here, just you know, uh, add like I said, add more, add more characters or squads if you want to. Uh, I wouldn't worry too terribly much about like whether it's like you know a strategic army build, you know. It's my first dude. It's your first. It's your first army. Yeah, if you don't know what any of these units are, you know, feel free to ask. I will answer to the best of my ability as a um, uh, as a filthy loyalist. Okay. It's a. And that was a master of possession. You can like add him to a squad of possessed uh, space marines. Like space marines with demons in them, basically. That sounds fucking fun. What's well, master of executions? He's like a. He's basically like a melee dude. All right. Cool. Like a melee dude. That's, that's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you'll want to give him then either. Let's see. Hold on. Let's, let's add him. Uh, where was he? There we go. Right. I want to get, if, if I, if I had to recommend a mark of chaos for him, either corn. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Yeah. You, you said maybe ah, corn immediately. All right. And, uh, let's see. He, uh, he can be added to either, uh, chosen or legionaries. If you want to give him a squad. 
I'll give him a talisman. Hold on, what's a talisman do? Add one to the attacks and turn characters of the bearer's melee weapon. Each time the bearer's unit makes a dark pack and does not fail the resulting leadership test, roll 1d3. Until the end of the phase, add the result to the sh attacks and strength characteristics of the bearer's main weapons instead. Could you explain that to me? Let's see. Okay. Okay, baseline, he gets one additional uh, attack and one, and one additional strength, like at all times. And uh, every time you use a dark pact with, uh, with a... Um, uh, every time you use a uh, dark pact... Uh, with him and it doesn't fail you roll a d3 die a d3 like a you know a three-sided dice uh at the end until the end of that phase whatever number you rolled is added to the attacks and strength characteristic of the bear's melee weapon instead so like, like so let's say you roll a d3 and get a three then you would get three attacks and th uh, three strength as a bonus instead of one. Zaste. Yeah, fuck it, we ball. Yeah. Right, so Talisman of Burning Blood. And uh, since he probably wants some more uh, some more battle line infantry, I'd say a good thing to combine him with would be some Legionaries. Let's see. Then we'll give you corn marks. Since y'all are corny. They're pretty corny, yeah. We'll put... Bugalow chain swords. I want to replace the bolt gun. With some regular cursed weapons. Right, so so he's all choppy. <clears throat> yep, all choppy. Right. You also Plus, hold on. Oh. Uh, why not? We'll change the cursor to a heavy melee. Okay. And uh, let's see. Also, the um, uh, don't forget to give him a chaos icon. Where is it again? Oh, it's there right. Is. It's right. Yeah, it's right below your um. Uh, it's right below your um. Uh, option weapon options there. And is it let the champion have it? Now, uh, balefire tome. We'll have one guy with a bolt gun there as moral support. It's a balefire. Uh, oh, uh, is that? That's psychic. Yeah, like. the, I don't think you can actually give that to him if they if they've got corn. If they've got yeah, the icon of corn. Nah, fuck, nah, fuck that shit, dude. Psychic powers are for nerds. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can replace all of the all of the ones with bolt guns and give the for ones with chain swords if you want. So you can so you can outfit the whole squad with melee weapons, which remember is very corny. The weapon. Oh, okay. Oh, you not. Uh, oh yeah, I think. Here. Oh yeah, I think all the the I think these are all. Uh, ranged weapons ah okay okay uh, and then the heavy melee yep yeah, there we go okay okay A big boy he needs to eat all right now if you now if you if you uh want to like say duplicate a unit like one that you've already got selected you just hit the um uh you just hit the uh duplicate Little button paper there yeah yeah your 
army is uh, half full, by the way. It, yeah, I see a lot. Oh. Currently 500 out of 1,000. Uh, if you want, I, execution. Uh, I would say if you want me to make a tactical uh, recommendation, I can. Go for it. Yeah. Your choppy squad of legionaries. Yeah. Increase them to ten. Would I do that? <laughs> uh, basically, hit. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Basically, what you do is you increase the um, uh, just the leg legionaries with chain swords to um, uh, increase the legionary with chain swords to eight. Because then you've got you've got the eight dudes with chain swords, the dude with the heavy melee weapon, and then you've got the aspiring champion going like rawr with the dual wielding. And big that, old choppy dudes. Yeah, and that's a just a big block of choppy dudes to like drive forward into your enemy. Keep in mind, I, I, you're running Black Templars, so Corn's about to get a fucking hard on from that. <laughs> that and, and this, like, this is going to be such a Bible fight. It's the biggest Bible fight. <laughs> Corn is going to be so happy. It's, I also think it's cool, kind of cool too so far because so far you have uh, Zeech, Corn, and uh, and uh, what do you call it? If Zeech and Corn represented, who in, in canon would ha hate each other. They're working together just as well. But yeah, it's like it, it, it's like this this one nerd Black Templar said, "Hey, Lorg are kind of mid though," and now they're mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right so uh, you are just short of six hundred points out of a thousand. Let's see. Traitor Enforcer is a um uh, a chaos mortal unit. Like he's like a cultist leader kind of character. Oh. Yeah. A sorcerer is like you know a ma like a like a magic dude, like a you know psychic powers and stuff. Chaos Lord with Jump Pack, you would, like, say, usually have leading a, a, a squad of guys who can jump. Chaos, Chaos Lord is like your, your you know, standard, you know, leader unit for a Chaos Army. We got a Chaos Lord. Let me go look at my mark here. I'll do Slun Nash for this one. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. My brain is worrying. I've never seen a uh, Warhammer 40k table, so maybe my brain won't be worrying mm. when we get there. Well, what's uh, what's your idea? Uh, uh, let me know, and I'll tell you the best way to I can think of to make it work. The Slanushi people and the Corny people, mm -hmm. they gonna be up at the front because they melee. Ah, okay. Um, what you'd probably want to do then... Let's see. Um, let's see. Well, okay. For, okay. First of all, because usually when you take a, a character, it's to attach them to a unit. So let's see what units he can join. He can join chosen or legionaries. So maybe what you want to add is another chosen unit, but a melee one that you can uh, then add him to. That is a Marcus Lanesh. Power fist. And okay. then you said chosen, right? Yep, chosen. 
and then you'll want to make them out to be like, uh, you know, choppy. You get a power fist, a pair of accursed weapons. Let's see. Let's. Eh. Oh, okay. I can't have these two together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you went over the limit. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Squad deploying. Oh, Bronx Shogun has joined the crusade. Uh, Bronx Shogun, thank you for the follow and welcome to the crusade. Apologies of not paying attention to Chad and trying to guide Millie through setting this up. All right. Let's see. Where, where's the chosen with bolt gun? Chosen with bolt gun, plasma pistol, combi bolt weapon, gun. pair of accursed weapons, and a bolt pistol. Hmm. Try to see where the. It, I'm trying to see if you can just take regular ass uh, melee weapons with these guys, because you really should be able to. One moment, one moment. Um, I'm gonna bring down. I'm gonna bring down the. Uh, I'm gonna bring down the media share for a minute. I need to consult a website. I cannot show on here. I do apologize, everyone. The um, uh, media share will be back up in a minute. I just want to make. I just want to make sure. This is even. This is an option Millie can take. That was uh, chosen. Hold up. Uh, pack bound zealots. There we go. Uh, chosen. 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 There we go. <clears throat> Oh, they're okay. They're equipped with accursed weapons by default. So let's see. Right. So then you'll you'll be you should be able to just uh, add uh what do you call it? Where's the media share? There it is. Right. So basically, you'll just want to uh, uh, fill in the um uh, the last two from like the normal like the last the last three from the normal guys. They, they, yeah, they they are all armed baseline with accursed weapons. That was something that I, I didn't notice. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I just I just fell into bolt guns, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they all come with they they all come with accursed weapons, which is like the uh, the, the that's basically a chaos chainsword. Right, so your guys are now. Oh, and don't forget to give them the the um, uh, the, the chaos icon. Again, okay. it's again it's basically free. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so that's that. Um, you're at eight hundred twenty-five points. So, I'd say from here, you uh, might want to add like a. Either like a vehicle, well, maybe a ve vehicle of some kind from your vehicle options. You know, something to something to th you know throw a big punch, basically. Uh, a little bit, a little further down. Obliterators. Oh, obliterators. They're kind of fun. They basically, you basically, uh, uh, you roll, you roll. Uh, I want to say it's like you roll the dice or something to determine what kind of guns they mutate out of their body. Guns, you say? Yeah. Oh, there's the allied units. If you want to add demon, uh, no, de any any demons. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Let me let me check the cost of things real quick down this list. Uh, no, I don't think you're gonna be able to add a greater demon. I was I was maybe thinking of suggesting that because it'd be kind of funny, but uh, you don't you don't have the points left for that. Let me find. God, I sure do love car things. alarms. Car yeah. alarms. Oh, no, I, I get you. I get you. Um, hmm. I think as a funny obliterators would be <laughs> just there. Just, just add some obliterators because why not? Yeah, since they have guns, might as well just attach them to the Zinchi boys. Oh, so so make so basically make him a make him a Zinch unit. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Nurgle is being selected today. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I want to have all of them as long as I don't think I have space for Nurgle. I think no, uh, no, you can, you can make him Nurgle. Nurgle was uh, Nurgle's a shooting option, so that would actually be pretty good for obliterators. So yeah, just uh, for your obliterators, just select a uh, mark of Nurgle. Don't they, don't they need to be attached to something, or are they just going to be, like, No, the, 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 you're, you're, you'll have two obliterators. They'll just be there as a squad doing their thing. You can't... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't attach a leader a leader unit to them, anyway. At least I think... Ah, perfect. At least I think you can't. Uh, hold on. Uh, where's the Master of Possession? Uh, you wouldn't be able to afford them, anyway. You're at 1995 points. Yeah, no, they, you, there's nothing that can actually attach to obliterators. So they'll be, like, a, they'll be, like, a, like a, you know giant fleshy living gun emplacement. And yeah, that's that's a thousand points of dudes. Close, but yeah. Yeah, well it's nineteen ninety five. It's like you cannot get any more close than that. Okay. Um now, uh do you feel like you're ready to set up your army and tabletop simulator might as well say fuck it let's ball okay okay first of all do the following go up to your list options on the upper right this right here uh no over over to the right down a little right oh, there. there yeah and hit lock list the you'll, you'll, be, you'll be able to unlock it but this will basically let, prevent you from screwing up your uh, fucking with it yeah right and from here we are going to uh, fire up um, Tabletop Simulator. Yippee! All right, so we're going to bring down the media share. We are going to fire up... Uh, well, the game capture is always up, so I'm just going to move this over here, minimize it for now. Uh, what What is my duty? Uh, to die for the Emperor. I know what you're... Uh, sorry for not noticing you earlier, Dr. Pe Dr. Pepperuno14579, but... I know what you're quoting. I know what you're quoting. I just can't remember the, the right answer off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Right. So um, I'm going to set up a multiplayer game. Uh, uh, invite. Um, name it testiculate for some reason. And uh, two players create server. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is get you in here. So there you go. Yeah, for those watching, there's a little, uh, when you create a server, if you want to create an invite only, there is a little uh, button you push to invite friends. Oh, I'm here. Otherwise, you can like open up the server with a password uh, the, for, some, for your opponent to join in on or something like that. But right, so first of all, uh, Finding mods. So this is where the Tabletop Simulator 40k Discord uh, portion really comes into play. And basically on there, there is a section of the Discord called Mod Uploads. And that is where that is where your mods are listed, the mods that you will, uh, you know, subscribe to it is uh very easy to set up mods in tabletop sim you just subscribe to them off the workshop like that's all you got to do 
Now, in order to view your models, you, you, or view your mods, what you do is you go to, you select the games option, you select workshop, and then I've got it in a little folder over here. And these uh, these mods here are like the essential mods, I think, for playing this. Um, the There's the force org mod, that's like pinned at the top of the mod down or the mod, uh, you know, the mods uh, pa uh, page on the discord that I described. It, it's considered the mod for getting your minis. Uh, wait, which uh, channel do you look for? Oh, right. The um, uh, mod it, uploads. Yeah, mod it? uploads. It is called Force Org Warhammer 40k model collection plus yellow scribe plus map builder. That is your go to mod. So follow the link to follow the link to uh, the workshop that it, that they provided and you just hit subscribe and that's it. It's in your game. I heard, uh, again, uh, I, I apologize to people if I'm not really paying attention to chat cause I'm trying to, I'm focusing on helping Millie today. Um, see, so yeah, I do apologize. I am paying attention. I'm just, you know, also locked in a little bit. So I, yeah, I do apologize for that. All right, Millie, just let me know when you're, uh, when you've got that all loaded up. Uh, I need to sign in on this web page here. Ah, okay. Alright. We love Steam Mobile app. We love it so much. I remember the good old days where you could just sign in and not have to give a shit. Yeah. Before you needed, like, you know, tw you know, 12 factor authentication and having to send them your, like, DNA and, you know, the, na the name. The name. Yeah, your dick length, your, the, the, the name of your grandmother's brother's cousin's nephew's former roommate. Also, your first dog's name for some reason. Uh, and let me see, what's the other one there? FTC. FTC Competitive 40K 10th Edition Base. There is a, I want to say there is a, there is, uh, oh, there is a page, there is, or there's a channel on the Discord with that mod. Uh, let me look just to be safe. Uh, my God, uh, my God, there's a lot of channels. Um, general off topic rules. Learning the game. Rules help. All right, I got the FTC competitive 40k map base 10. Okay. And did you get, oh, did you grab Force Org? I got Force Org as well. Okay. So we will open up Force Org from, you know, you know, from my perspective. It'll pull you into it. So yeah, don't worry about having it open or not. Okay. Okay. All right. Holy fuck. All right. This is the Force Org mod. This is the entirety of Warhammer 40k 10th edition. Generally speaking, the only things that will, will be missing are the newest model releases until they've met, like made models of them. And yeah, so yeah, this is your this is your bread and butter mod right here. Like this is where you get your this is where you get maps. You get models. You can script your army list into your minis. Uh, it's it, it's it's kind of nutty. What well, they... I think Solzum is getting four sword real quick. Looks like a chat. B or B, I gotta get four sword. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, um, yeah. It is. It is. It is on the um. Uh, it is on the the um uh, mod uploads page on the Discord. It is pinned to the top. You literally can't miss it. But, um, right. So, you, Millie, want to make your Chaos Army, yes? Yeah. All right. So, here's what you would do. Um, now, you notice we got all these, uh, all these, um, uh, armies on the sides, on the top. Um, the general rule of thumb is that 
On the top are the Space Marine and Imperium factions. On the right side are the Xenos factions. And on the left side are the Chaos factions. It's like you've got, you know, Chaos Knights, Chaos Demons, Emperor's Children, what units are available of them for now. Uh, they have, they, they, their codex is coming, so, you know, hold on to your butt. Oh, really? Yeah, it was it was just announced, like, last week that they're getting it. It's going to be in 20, wow. yeah, it's 2025, but... Uh, I hope we get our own fucking codex. Yeah, World Eaters, Thousand Sons, Death Guard, and up here are your regular Chaos Space Marines. And there's also, some of these have drop-down options. Like, for Chaos Marines, there's Chaos Marines Alpha Legion and Night Lords. Uh, for regular Space Marines, there's... Ultramarines, Imperial Fists, Iron Hands, Raven Guards, Salamanders, and White Scars. For uh, for the Eldar, there's Eldari and Harlequins. Uh, for Tyranids, there's basically a bunch of different uh, High Fleets. And uh, yeah, so what you want, Millie, is uh, you want uh, Chaos Marines. So, okay. I'm so keep your you can like move your hand around here, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just ask keep your hand out of the middle for now. We are going to be loading the models. This is your first time loading them. It might take a while. So basically what we do is you hit load models. PC dies instantly. Oh please no. There's 790 <laughs> models to load, so just like just like what happened at Space Marine. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> yeah. All right, let me know if it throws any errors your way. It it might not, or probably it shouldn't. All right, there are two models left for me. All right, let me know when they're all loaded. Like I said, for you, Millie, it might take a while because this is your first time loading them. Almost done. Yeah, as, and we're done. Yeah, as the, so everything loaded okay? Uh, looks like I don't see any... It did, It would have kicked an error back in your face if there would have been an error. No, I didn't get any errors done. Yeah, I would have straight up said, this model is broken. So, yeah. But as you can all see, this is the entire Chaos Space Marine model range. Wow. Yep, this is, this is, this is your entire... Uh, this is your entire list of options. Uh... Some of these models have multiple states you can select. Like, uh, let's see. Like, uh, over here. Let me bring this corn berserker over here. Like, like little dude. Yeah, so here's what... So, Millie, um... Here's what you... Like, when you see a model of, say, like, one slash two corn berserker like that. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to right-click it, and there will be an option that says state, Right? I am clicking. I'm right clicking. He's not letting me do anything. Oh, it's maybe because you're on it. Oh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Uh, can I promote you? Uh. All right. Now try. Now try moving something. Like just grab a random model and move it. Uh. Let's take this dude over here. I guess. I am a gray spectator. Oh, I think I know the problem. This is a single player. This is a single player thing. Shit. All right. Uh, well, you know what then, Millie? How about this? For this first time, how about uh, you just like watch and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. To make sure it gets done right. Right. Okay. All right. So you'll be able to move all this, all this stuff on your own normally. Oh, wait, never mind. I think I fixed it. Okay. Right, uh, uh, grab a, just try and move a random, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I just, I just needed to pick a color is all. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm putting him back where he was because, because <laughs> OCD will kick in. Right, so, what we need to do is we need to collect the... <laughs> I did yeet the Night Lord across the way, though, so. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to collect the models that are going to show up in your army. Now, for this, uh, we've got Forsorg, uh... We've got the list of models, so here's what we need. We need a Chaos Lord with a Demon Hammer 
and a power fist. You may not always be able to find an exact, uh, like an exact, uh, representation. Yeah. But if you can't, the general rule of thumb is go for what's, cl go for what's closest. Like, let's uh -oh. see. Uh, hey, I already found my master of execution there. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I know there's a chaos Lord with a demon, with a demon hammer we can use. So let me just find him. Uh, he's sort of this Alex Jones looking motherfucker. Um, I mean, where, where is he? He should be around here. Uh, right. Oh, here's the master of execution, by the way. Yeah, I have, I have one right here. Oh, where? Oh, okay. Uh, he's like all the way up the front there. Yeah. All right. So you've got your master of execution. Uh, here is your dark apostle and his two buddies. <laughs> uh, where is, where is chaos Lord Jones? Uh, here he is. Here he is. He doesn't have a power fist, but he's got a demon hammer. Close then. Close enough, yeah. Like I said, you, you you may you may not find an exact representation. The way I the way the general rule of thumb is if you can represent one of your primary weapons, you're you're generally good to go. That like that's the general rule of thumb for tabletop sim, because unfortunately not every option can be represented because Holy fuck, there's a lot of them, right? So, that's, you see, you got your Master Executions, Dark Apostle, your Lord with Hammer. Uh, what else did you have? All right, those are your three characters. Now I you, need some Legionnaires and Rubric Marines next. Right, so, let's, okay, let's do, first of all, let's do the Rubrics. I can't roll my R. Uh, I can't roll my R. Rubric! Rubric! Yeah, Red. you got it. All right, so let's see. Uh... Let's grab warp flamer. Here he is, right here. Yeah, one with a warp. One with a warp flamer. Uh, uh, what else we got? You go behind my dark apostle. Icon with a bolter. Bolter. Uh. Soul reaper cannon. And you need a. Let's see what inferno bolt gun. Inferno bulk up with an icon, Soul Reaper, Warp Flamer, which you grabbed, an aspiring sorcerer with a warp flame pistol. That would be this one. It's basically like a like a little handheld flamer. You don't need to grab one of each. Uh, the scripting process will handle that, which I will teach you. Oh, where do you put the guy with the flamer? Oh, he's right behind uh, the dark apostle. Okay. Let's gather them up here. Actually, you know what? Here. We'll keep the leaders forward. We'll keep the troops behind the leaders. Right. Now we need... So that's the Rubric Squad. Now we need... Legionnaires. Ten Legionaries. Uh, you've got the these options here. So uh, There's multiple, like, model options. Like, these are based on Dawn of War uh, units. These are custom-made 3D models over here. Uh, right there. And... The ones over here are 3D scanned off actual real miniatures. These are generally the nicest, the scanned ones. Um, but which Where one? Are they? These over here on the on the on the left. These are scan. Yeah, these are scanned off actual tabletop models. Ooh. Yeah, it's uh, called photogrammetry or something like that. Um, let's see. These are those are possessed. Those are Havocs. Uh, show... Okay, here oh, you're... I found some Legionaries. Oh, right, yeah. Um, let's... Let's see. Uh... I had some Chosens. All right. Let's, uh, let's go through these and find the ones with the right, with the right loadouts. Uh, all righty. Um... Aspiring Champion. I think this is it right here. This guy right here? Yeah, he's an Aspiring Champion. Uh, force let's... weapon, warp smite, warp flame pistol. Okay, let's look at your squad. Uh, right, yeah, he will. He will do so. Drop him right here. We'll just keep them all together for now. Uh, let's see. Um, let's say take one. This one here to represent your guys with the, like your basic dudes because. 
I'd say you'll want the accursed weapons to stand out because they are a melee squad. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, and you'll want one with a heavy melee weapon. Um, the chosen here with a big old thing there. Oh, yeah, use him. He's got that big old, you know, hacky melee weapon. Um. Oh, and you want one with a... Who are the Icon? Oh, the Aspiring Champion's got the Icon. So, you know what? Uh, I'd say you wouldn't... You won't need the Icon physically represented. It'll just... It'll be... It'll end up on the model... The list of the model's abilities. Is there, like, a deal between Icon models versus... Yeah, like, usually an Icon model has a, um, uh, will ha physically have an Icon on him. Like, uh, let's find one. Um, I think I saw one in the Rupert Marine. Oh, wait, um, actually, you know what? Uh. Yeah, one of your Rubric Marines has one. Uh, that'll be representative for that squad. I'm trying to see if I can find, a champ like, a champion with a heavy melee weapon and an Icon. All right, yeah, because he's got a heavy melee weapon. That's right. Um, hmm. Let's look over here. Let's look at these models. They've got more, um, uh, a few more options. Uh, they, oh, they, wait, hold on. Heavy melee weapon... see it doesn't look like there's any with the dual melee weapon so you know what um let's do this we'll have this guy with as the aspiring champion oh, wait hmm you know what have this guy with the with the mark as the aspiring champion because then you know he's got the mark of chaos right yeah. Yeah. So, let's see. Aspiring champion, legionaries with chain swords, legionary with a heavy weapon. So, this squad is good to go. Then. Hey, I found the obliterators too. Oh yep. Yeah. Uh, where were they? They're over. How do I ping? They're oh right yeah, there. I see them. Uh, to ping, you hold tab. Uh, you hold tab, and then you just click. Ah, okay. You'll have to switch back to um. Uh, you'll have to go. You have to switch. Uh, hit. Uh, what is it? I think it's F one to switch back to grab. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, just grab those. Just drag and grab those two and pull them over to. Oh, yeah, pull them over to the uh, to the lump of dudes over here. One got dragged all over here. I got him. <laughs> I forgot. I, I forgot. I selected both. All right. You put them there. All right. Um. That's them. We need okay. Now we need your two squads of chosen. Uh, one is shooty. One is one is uh mall. Yeah, one is shooty. One is hacky. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at it. Let's, let's take a look. So let's do the mark of the shooty mark of each squad. Uh, one is accursed weapons, bolt gun, and bolt pistols, and two of combi weapons. So let's. Oh, uh, actually, no, never mind. Not that one. Uh. Hmm. What you know? Oh, uh, actually, you know what? You can you you can use him for the um uh, accursed weapon and plasma pistol that he chose for the melee. Let's do the melee one then. So move him over here. Do I have a plasma? I don't think I have any plasmas on mine. Uh, your Marcus Lanesh squad does. Has a plasma pistol. Bolton, bolton. On my list, there's no plasmas. Oh, well, I'm stupid. Hold on. Let me fix that. Uh, unlock list real Brother quick. Brother Killsmash reporting for training. Hello, Killsmash. Hey, Killsmash. How you doing? Uh, one moment. Uh, let's, let's remove him. I have no plasmas on mine, I don't think. Yeah, so it was a paired, a cursed weapon, and a bolt pistol. For the Slaneshis, I have... Paired a, co a cursed weapon with bolt pistol, yeah. All right, so paired a cursed weapon with bolt pistol. Let's see. 
You know what? Um, let's use this guy for the paired weapons. Just like the t like two horrible looking claws, you know. Fair enough, yeah. Then for then you've got your um. Uh, so that's paired a cursed I have, weapon. Actually, uh, pistol in the power fist and bolt pistol. Just yep, right yep, here. yeah. Take him for that. Take that for him. Uh, Pat. So the rest there. There's a, a cursed. There's a cursed weapon with an icon. Uh, you know what? Take this guy. You say that you say that nasty looking knife of his isn't a cursed weapon. That counts. Yeah. And then you just need a two accursed weapons with a bolt gun. So uh hmm. A lot of these guys have uh here we go. This guy. Hmm. Oh no, he's got a plasma weapon. Never mind. Um I kind of look at this guy more for like the accursed weapons. Oh, for the um, uh, for the for the dual, for the two weapons. Yeah, I would say that's actually the same dude, just different scan quality. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah. All right. So this is the Slanesh squad. We'll pick them up and move them over. Now we need to set up the the Zeech squad. <laughs> Zeech squad. The, the squad. All right. Um. Here's a nice regular bolter guy. Yeah, regular guy with a bolter. We got a um, uh, one with an icon. Uh, we need one with an icon. Um, how about this guy? With the severed heads I, on his back. I fucks with him. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, Pair of accursed weapons. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, combi weapon and bolt pistol, accursed weapon. Uh, hmm. I don't see any with a combi weapon. But what he could take in this place is this dude. Oh, wait. This guy. This guy's a combi weapon. Because he, well, when you look at it from the side. It's a plasma gun on top, and it's a bolter on the bottom. Oh. That's what that's what a commie weapon is. It's basically like you take a bolter, and then you slap a special weapon on it, too. Dabiki boys. So, let's see. So, that's that squad. Now, what's left? Uh, what have we not chosen? We got the Lord. We got the Dark Apostle. That's basically your whole army. All right. The rubrics, we got the obliterators, the dark apostle, the lord, the master of execution. Hey, Kill Smash, how you doing? Again, sorry if I'm not paying attention to chat. I'm trying to focus on that. You got uh, your chosen, yeah. and then the legionnaires are there. I right. think we're good. All right. Are you ready to? Are you ready to do some warp fuckery? Yeah, sure. All right. So first of all, we're gonna move all of this, just drag and drop, over here. N not particularly fancy. Now, this is how you script your models. So you've still got a uh, force org, uh, uh, not force org, uh, new recruit open, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So here's what you do. You go up to the upper right. There'll be list options, report data issue, and export. Click export. Yeah. Then. Go to actually, you know what? Hold on, I should just show people how to do show people how to do this. Let me go to the um, uh, bring the media share up and uh, bring it over here so people can see. Right, so here's what you do uh, over here where it says list options, report data issue, export. You click export, and you'll see a button right here that says yellow scribe. You click yellow scribe. And that will copy the uh, yellow scribe code. Where, where you go from there is, all right, over here, Millie. You see this yellow button here? Launch yellow scribe, right? Uh, yeah, over here in like the middle. 
I want, uh, here's what you do. You click that. Oh, oh, I can physically here. Okay. Yeah. You click that. It brings up paste code here. Do you actually see the paste code here thing? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. I'll do this for you. Cause you know, again, actually, you know what? Um, so you, what you would do is like you'd paste the code there and hit submit. So did you copy the, oh, but yeah, you hit submit. I did. Yeah. There's your, there's, there is how you begin scripting your army. So, uh, you know what, Millie, I'll let you do this one. So here's what you do. So you've got a uh, chaos Lord with hammer right here, right? Yeah. First of all, click this, uh, button up here. This is chaos Lord. Like uh, in the middle up here. The one at the top. Oh, I actually don't see that there. Oh, you don't? No. Oh shit. All right. Um, all right. I think. Okay, I think I can salvage this. Um, you know what? I no, I'll 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 do it this time because for the sake of the thing, right? Uh, do you have, do you have the stream open? I do. Yeah, I have it all, okay. all times on my third monitor. Right. So okay. So just keep an eye on what I'm doing here. Uh, you click. You see, it says Chaos Lord right here, right here. You click that, and that says pick up a model or models to represent uh your selection. So you just click that. And now you notice it turns green. Yeah. That when it turns green, that means you have told Yellow Scribe that you want this associated with that model. So then you would do it, say the Dark Apostle. You click the Dark Apostle. Then you click him. For the Dark Disciples, now this is a little trick you can learn. If you want it, if you want multiple models to represent something, you highlight both of them. And then click both. Then you do the Master of Executions. Now for the Legionaries, it'll it works a little different for like say squads, because there's different guys with different loadouts. So there's one for the aspiring champion. You click that. Let's see where are the Legionaries. I believe it was the aspiring champion had the um uh, the icon. Yeah. So click him legionaries with a legionaries with a chain sword click them legionary with a heavy melee weapon click him so now all three of them are scripted with the rubric marines you do the sorcerer the uh which ones are the inferno bolters uh that's those Soul, uh, Soul Reaper Cannon. That's him. And the Aunt. And the uh, one with the Warp Flamer. That's him. Let's see. Now the first Chosen Squad. Three chosen with bolt guns. Wait, is this the mark as each one? I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. So with bolt guns, that would be them. And the two with the combi weapons, that'd be him. Let's see. And the second chosen squad, that would be three chosen with Slanushi. the Slanushi. Let's see. On uh, right. So this would be the regular cursed weapon. So that would be them. Then you got the one with the pair of cursed weapons. That'd be this guy in the middle. Yep, that'd be him. And the power fist and the bolt pistol. That'd be him. And then last but not least, you've got your two obliterators. My so, big boys. So once again, you drag over both and select. So after you do that, there's a button. I don't know if you can see it over here. It's a button that says create army. You can see it on the stream screen, right? I can see create army. Yeah. All right. So what you do then is you just click. Holy smokes! 
And now these are your fully scripted. Uh, this is your fully scripted army of uh, chaos boys. Wait, hold up. Where was the? Where was? Hold on. I feel like someone's missing. Where's the? Where's? Where's? Where's the choppy guy? The executioner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where? I don't see him. He got left out of the party. Oh, hold on. I can fix this. Oh, no, uh, wait, there's a max execution. Oh, I, cl I clicked the wrong model. Oh, my God. All right. So, next lesson. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very big guy. Okay. So, next lesson. What if I made a mistake? <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, here's what you do. Here's what you do. So, these are the ones you want to keep, right? Yeah. Just pick them up and just drop them, like, here, right? Yeah. Delete this. So, highlight the table and just delete it. Uh, so this guy, um, I slightly fucked up. That was the, that was uh, the master of execution using the wrong model. So what you do then is you trying to see how you close this out. Maybe by reclicking it. And oh, then... wait, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let's try it. Yeah. You click master of execution. Click that. And then. Create army. That might just create the whole thing again. There we but go. But he's there now. He's there now. So yeah. He's coming okay. back down here now. Yeah. With the brothers he was meant to be with. Right. So. And then, and then his forgotten uh, little squad over here. Yeah. So this is your whole army. Now, here's what. here Now, now you want to save this, right? Yeah. So what you do is you drag over all of it, right? Yeah. Once it's all highlighted yellow. You pick yeah. one of the models, you right click, you select save object, and then that will save to your root folder. You can make a, a new folder for it if you want. Um, but basically, like I've got a saved armies folder and then you just hit save. All right. All right. Bird bearers. All right, I think I got it saved correctly now. All right, so now as a test, I can just just to show you, I can just do this like uh, up over here on the main uh, the main thing with all the models. There's your army. Now, how about you do the same just to make sure it's stuck? Just like drop it like right next uh, right next to the dudes I just spawned. Uh, wait, wh how do I get that menu again? Oh, okay, right. You go up to objects. Ah, uh, okay. On the upper bar up there, you hit saved s objects. Yeah. Saved objects, and I've I've got it in my little folder here. But you know, just uh, click where you put it, and then uh, click somewhere on the table. Actually, click twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, try not to click too many times. Uh, but right. Yeah, that's how you build an army effectively. <laughs> All sorts of fucked up. Hey, it, it's chaos. Fucked up is part of the package. <laughs> but right. <laughs> so the next thing we want to do. Uh, so we want to set up a map, right? Yeah. So to do it the easy, to do it the easy way, you basically just, so there's a bag here. It's over here. It says thematic unbalanced maps. These are just the ones like I like to pick just for fun. You drag, so, oh, no, no. All right, now put this back in here. I mean, so how to use the bags. Uh, click on this bag here and then drag. Click and hold and drag. There you go. Now for this one, you, hold on, right click on it and there'll be a search option. You click search. That shows the bags, or that shows the pre-made maps in the bag. Once that's open, uh, drag one out and drop it next to the brown bag. Like, I'll let you pick the map, because it's going to be your first game. Hmm... Oh, I can't select that for some reason. Oh, you can't? Oh, um... Are you going by my screen or your screen? Oh, 
search. Search. Uh, yeah, it just won't let me select anything. Oh, it won't? Okay. Uh, then you know what? Um, I was going to pick Stone Circle. Oh, you were? <laughs> okay, then it is right here. Uh, then what you would do for this, if you want to use this map for um, uh, the game, you would right-click. Oh, I see now what the issue was. What was the issue? It's because you were in it first. Oh, only one person can be in at a time. But you saw how to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It let me just start doing it when I was when you got out. Yeah. So much like the army, you would right click, and then you would save object, and then I will save that into saved armies. All right. Let me know when it's saved. All right, I have saved Stone Circle. All right. So. What we're going to do now, you've got your army saved, you've got a map selected, so we are going to go and put the game put the game map on the uh, on the gaming board. So for this, you go into your games workshop, and I've, I've got my little folder, I put it all in, and you want the FTC competitive 40k 10th edition base. Uh, you're, you're, about, you're about to get zorpled into another realm, Millie, so brace yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, got an error. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, what for? But it looks like it fixed itself immediately. Huh. Well, okay. So now this is your. This is where we pl actually play the game. This is like a bunch of scripted tools we use to make things run. We got like, we've got like, let's go over to your side, the blue side over here. We'll show you. We've oh, got like new player. Hmm. Uh, someone in the chat. Oh. Uh. Hey, decide Aries. Uh, hey, uh, how you doing? Yeah. Um, if you've missed most of the stream, don't worry. Just stick around. I will be putting this up on YouTube on Saturday, so you know to help people to help people along. But right, this is your dice roller. So like you see these dice over here, you can yeah, yeah, yeah. drag and select all those, and then you drop them in this little cardboard box, and that rolls the dice. Wow. Alternatively, you can hit roll all dice. I like to pick them up, but you can always just click the button, and then you can add more dice. You could represent a orc shooting. Hold on. <laughs> You've been shooting for over five hours. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, or, you know, alternatively, like you can, you can push like these, this button. That just rolls that line of dice. And then when you want to um, uh, delete dice, you just push the line. Like, del like, just delete that line. That's like the basics of the of the dice roller. But what we want to do now is set up the map. So we are going to we're going to be playing one thousand points. That's incursion. So you want incursion strike force. The other options are onslaught. That's like a that's like three thousand point game. Or combat patrol. That's like a. What do you know about two of them will hit. <laughs> Like what? You, yeah, exactly. Two of them will hit. Uh, Combat Patrol is like with pre-made armies. It's like an alternate form of playing. But uh, yeah, we will be doing Incursion Strike Force. You hit confirm for gaming. And that now there's nothing here, right? Yeah. What you do is you go up into objects. You go into save objects. And you put you drag and drop. Yeah, I accidentally dropped it through the map, but yeah. Oh, uh, you want to move that off. I'm a, we're about to do the following. So you drag Stone Circle. That's the map we selected out. You drop it here. And do you see that little button on the right that says Load Map? Yeah. Oh, uh, why don't you push that? Whoa. There is now a there is now a uh, a totally not chaotic ritual space in which we will be fighting over tomorrow. When we play our game together. So, 
So short of actually playing, the, the, the rest would just be set up for actually playing. Like, uh, like setting up our objectives and stuff. We can, I can show you that tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to learn the like the dice rolling and stuff. Oh, what faction are they playing? Uh, I am playing word bearers. Uh, Bo here is playing black templars. Yep, it is going to be a it is going to be an absolute bible fight tomorrow. Um, unironically, I have bought a lot of audiobooks on the word bearers and Lorgar, So. Yep. Uh, you know the the, the Millie here has. Drank the chaos Kool Aid as joined. It's the not dark even gods. drank. I just chugged that shit. You know you no, you no you 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 saw the cup and were like, "Where's the pool?" <laughs> and they just dove in that. It wasn't Kool Aid. It was blood. Yeah, no. The, the more I looked in the word, I was like, "Man, these guys are cool." Even though everyone like universally fucking hates them. Well, I mean, it's people don't universally hate them. They universally hate Erebus. It is one put down Erebus like immediately. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's like. It is one word bearer in particular that nobody likes. Not even I mean, word bearer fans. Corn Pharaoh's kind of a fucking dickhead too, though. Oh, uh, that motherfucker is still alive in 40k. Corn Pharaoh. It was so Zerubus for that matter. Yeah, like I, I, I did start um, uh, Lorgar bearer of the word, and immediately I already dislike Corn Pharaoh. Immediately I already dislike that man. Man, you haven't met Argel Tall yet. You'll, um, you'll everybody. Argel Tall is like the opposite of Erebus. Everybody likes him. <laughs> I will say though, like just like in in theory, right? I do like the word bearers and like I don't know. It's almost like how I would have like loved the Black Templars too. It's just re re religious fanaticism. Yeah, a core pharaoh is like is like Erebus too. Like the other Erebus in fucking uh, Lorgar's ear, basically. Because if I recall, based on what I was looking upon the word bearers. Homeboy, even though he was made a half of Stardis, Homeboy still secretly uh, pledged to his old faith, which in reality was a faith dedicated to the Chaos God. Yeah, Corferon was basically Corferon was was uh, Lorgar's adoptive father, basically, and uh, he was too old to become an Astartes when the Emperor found them. So instead, he got like he got more bog standard genetic augment genetic and cybernetic aug augmentations to extend his life and make him stronger, even though he was too old, even for that. And it basically left him like physically ill most of the time. And yeah, he's not, so he's not really, he's even though he's like stronger than a normal person, he's not in a start is. Um, I will say also, cause I also looked up the, um, the anchor, right as well. Right. Mm -hmm. I, <sighs> The Anchorite's the prime example of why the word bearers have been so fucking cool if they stayed loyalist or, like, something went in their favor when it comes to their religious fanaticism. Oh, you mean, like, because he's literally so loyal to the Emperor, he can shoot, like, holy death rays and shit? He fucked up the word bearers. There is but one god, and he sits upon a throne of gold. He <laughs> fucked them up so badly, I was looking into it, I was like, wow. That's what the word bearers should have been right there. Yeah, if, they, if they'd stayed loyal, you know? But, um, yeah, uh, that's basically how to set up a table for, um, a uh, tabletop sim. I will be, uh, I'll be adding the link to the, uh, Discord server in the, uh, upload to this on YouTube. Um, so the next thing would be Millie. Um, you and I playing this tomorrow. <laughs> you, I'm gonna have to learn the dice roll and, like, maneuvers and yeah. stuff in real time, yeah. but. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to set, uh, I'll teach you how to set up the game. Uh, how to place your models, all that stuff. So, yeah, well, you'll you'll learn that as you go. I'll probably release that as like a part two for this, like just the whole, like just the whole process of actually setting up a game. And boy, do I have a surprise for any viewers to tomorrow? Because I, I I've been telling Bo what I've been planning. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat. But um, right. Um, that's basically it. So. I, I'm probably going to need a refresher at some point down the line when I want to do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I imagine the more I do it, the more it just comes as, like, muscle yeah, memory. Yeah, it, it'll just, like, start to stick into your brain, yeah. That's basically it. Um, I know I set up the stream to do just that. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to end it early tonight. Um, so everybody, don't leave yet. I'm going to see who I'm going to send you all to go watch. Uh, do, 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 do. who is streaming? Who is streaming? Well, you know what? Riona is streaming, so I'm gonna send y'all to watch her. Uh, she is playing Metaphor Ref 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 
Zio. I don't know what that is. But um, yeah, uh, I'm going to set y'all set up the raid. Raid. Oh, first of all, shout out. Shout out to uh, Millie, who joined us tonight for this. Uh, go give her a follow. Hello. And now raid Rion. All right, the raid to go uh, watch Rion is setting up. I, we, we will be back tomorrow, same time, same place, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to be playing Warhammer 40K, uh, Millie's first game. So, yeah, until then, uh, I will hope you all have a good evening. Stay safe out there. And I will see you tomorrow at 7. Later, everyone. Read the book of lore, Garwood, just read it every night. <laughs> <laughs>